Hey, Dana, and welcome to Searching For today. It's going to be a little different because I'm doing this under behind the scenes. Today we're going to use the Robo. Oh, you did drop on me. <laughs> I see you. All right, I'm back. Like I said, this is gonna be a behind the scenes. I got all my gear stretched out, so I know where the heck it is. What I'm doing today is a pool repair. <laughs> a friend of mine says, hey, Dana, come on over. I need you to do a pool repair for me. And I said, well, I just happened to receive a surface air unit that I need to test out in a pool. So guess what? The, the Aqua Robo 519 is gonna get its debut in a pool. And I'm gonna be able to try and see how the how this system actually works. And this is what we got. This is the 519. It's good for three hours. Putting out 52 liters a minute um, and technically it's good for 50 this is good for 50 feet so we're gonna see how it works I'm gonna hook it up and put it in the water real get it in the water and get it started up stay tuned now well, I was hoping for a little cleaner a little cleaner pool he's got a lot of cleaning to do this is stagnant stagnant water but I need to clean get that cleaned away from there um, definitely got to get all my stuff washed off after I get in and out of there um, so, and that's the thing, the minute I stir it up, it's gonna be ugly. So, but I do at least get the, get this in. Catch up here. Reminds me of my pond. Um, so, what I need to do is get that, get over there. That. But what we'll do is I'll go ahead and put this in the water real quick. Face mask on it and see how it feels. Now we're going to go ahead and get the robo hooked up here. Said you got this little locking device. Make sure you lock it. Let them come undone. We have our air hose. So that's my that's my system. Don't forget you gotta put your air intake on here. Have this here, which is kind of a thing. You put your put this, put that through if you want. It'll well, take me a little bit of time to get rolled out. Um, get my little air compressor. Blow that up. Hold on. I can probably I 
I'm sure I'm going to be able to do it. The problem is there's too much silt on the bottom. And the minute I go to wipe it away, it's going to, it's going to silt up the whole bottom and I'm not going to be able to do anything. So we got to get it backed out. We got to get it clean before I'm going to be able to do anything. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to repair it. The problem is there's too much silt on the bottom. The minute I disturb it, I'm not going to be able to see and the place is not going to be clean enough to do the patch. All right, for you though, that are looking to repair your pool, this is an, they make a, this is a hydro tools repair kit. It's just the one that uh, my buddy has. Now what you gotta do is you gotta make sure that area is clean around it, which is no way we're gonna do right now because he's gotta get all the silt out of here. And then it says, if you do it underwater, you cut the patch larger, of course, than the hole. Then you put the, the glue on there and then you close the patch together. You take the put patch down to where the hole is and then you push the patch in over the hole. And then push it, you know, push it hard so you get the get as much water bubbles and all the stuff out of there as you can. But unfortunately, right now I'm not gonna be able to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the put this in here. I'm gonna see if uh, see how the air uh, airflow is on my mask and then and we'll go from there so this basically is going to be the aqua robo water test all right okay i'm going to go ahead and use the ocean reef on it Second, go ahead and put the robo in the water As you can see, unfortunately, I've got her in dirty water right now. But anyway, <laughs> all they care about, all it's, all it's cared about, is the fact that you have that the piston cylinder in the water, because you don't want that that cylinder getting too too hot. All right, so. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and put the mask on because I can do that. I have what's called a surface air valve and this is opened up. Now I can breathe with the mask on. I don't have to take my mask off. Why is it locked? <laughs> it's locked till I get it in my face. Okay. We have it hooked up. Let me be over my shoulder. It's gonna be like back there somewhere. Alright, let's turn this thing on. Maybe we'll see. Mm. Gotta get that hose. 
where it's not interfering with your with your twist of your face. Alright. Okay, so what we're gonna where are you? <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, we're gonna make sure that again this is not interfering with anything in front of my face. So let's go ahead and turn the logo on. Yeah, she just shut off, so I think something to do with on demand. Yep, it's on demand, that's correct. Because it's thinking now. That feels like it's doing pretty good. Now I'm opening up the surface here on it.
I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. Alright. So it's off for right now. face out of that and as you can hear it's not it's not it's not running so it's not gonna run unless it's on demand which is great because you really don't want it running all the freaking time so that's got a valve system on it got a battery Got a battery indicator. Yeah, if we can see, see what it's doing out here in the out here in the light. But it gives you your you see your light. You can see your lights. And it's probably the it tells me 18, but not 10. 8, 10, 12. It's your vo uh, looks like your voltage on that. It's going to tell you where you're at when you're using it. That's working. That's working great. So, the only thing is getting your getting the hose coordinated where it needs to be. All it's also a quick warning, your air, your hose has got air pressure on it when you disconnect it, so be aware. I'm not sure exactly how much air pressure is on it, but when you disconnect it, it's definitely gonna come, come off in a hurry, so be aware. Just gotten back from doing the demonstration on the Aqua Robo. It worked out well. I did a demonstration of running around and doing a little bit of cardio uh, uh, exertion to see how much, you know, how well they did. Well, you're not going to have that much exertion when you're doing it. And it was barely, um, you know, I, I was able to, you know, recover. But you're not going to have all that. Um, you're probably going to want probably 80. I don't know, six, I think 66 is the next one, six, 66 liters per minute, um, and that was that would probably be good. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm back, I've just plugged the robo in, and I'm going to find out, all you got to do is push this button, and it'll give you the status. The button right here, it's a little bit, and it'll give you the status of what's going on, so basically saying it's. 12 volts at a hundred percent I think we're getting there I'm not sure why those other still got two red bars but it's saying hundred percent so it might be hundred percent charging I'll leave it on here for a little while um, my charging light is red or green I mean so um, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to get that hundred foot hose this 100, 100 foot hose so I can plug it into Mr. Robo here. I gotta turn it around. Ah. Mr. Robo here, which this is what's called a C a C connection. It's it's a V. And I don't know if it's because it's a Japanese Thing. I cannot find anything local to fit it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to fit the male end here so I can plug in to my setup here. And you see, I have an old, this is an old decor. This thing's probably 25 years old and it's still, still functional. So what I want to be able to do is hook it up to my Y here. And... I've got this one here, and that'll go in there. This will lock on here, keep this from unplugging. 
So I had it on my first stage that I can put right on a tank and then I can run, you know, run my full face without having to um, carry the tank. I can plug it into the 100 foot hose and then go. So that's what I'm trying to find right now is a uh, is this setup. I sent away to Japan, China for it and I lost it in shipment. And I'm trying to find it locally and I can't, I'm not seeming to be able to find it. So I went ahead and I'm going to take this off of here and it'll fit in here. These are a special special thread and I can't find anything local either for that. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to install it on here. Things are the same. Um, okay. So, uh, no. Never mind. Hold that. And use that. Okay, so we're going to tighten that up. All right. So we're good here. Finally. Now I'll be able to plug it right into here. And now I have. I have one going to my BC, and I'll have another one going to my dry suit, and the other one will be going to my regulator, coming to me. So that's been that I'm trying to do here. Go here. This is going. This goes to the regulator. <laughs> Because I actually have a fil filter system here. This one here will go to the BC. Or my, my dry suit. My dry suit connection. Alright, so there we are. We're all set. We're hooked up to the Robo. And then going into my Y. And this is going to me into my into my set here. Um, this is hanging because what's going to be here is also a backup tank that I'll have connected here so I can do what I need to do what I need to do in case of an emergency which would technically be this one here would be on the regulator going to me in the case of an emergency so there we are. I solved that problem for the moment. I need to get a um, oh, my quick disconnect. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't think that's the same. No, not the same. All right. I thought that would be cool because that'd be great if that was the same. But that's gonna be. How have I got this to? I've got this on. Something. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. I've got that. I've got that one on the end of this. Okay. There's the. There are you. You belong in there. Like so. And this goes around your back. And this is coming up. This is coming up over your shoulder. And then goes into your regulator. Or full face mask, which is what I've been doing. So there we are. All right. Should do this. Get another one of these. And I'll put it on here. Put that in here. Put that on that. And then I'll have a. Then I can use the same, same hose. And it'll be good. 
All right, so that's where we're at. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And then we'll catch you on the next. Searching for.